मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट ऑफ दिस कॉइल द कॉइल इज प्लेस्ड इन वर्टिकल प्लेन एंड इज free to rotate about a horizontal axis which coincide with its diameter a uniform magnetic field of 2 tesla in the horizontal direction exists such that initially the axis of the coil is in the direction of the field the coil rotates through an angle of 90 degree under the influence of the magnetic field c What are the magnitudes of the torque on the coil in the initial and final position? B. What is the angular speed acquired by the coil when it is rotated by 90 degree? The moment of inertia of the coil that is 0.1 kilogram meter square. Now see number of turns in the coil that is 100 given to you. Radius of the coil that is 10 cm so that is 0.1 meter current passed through it that is 3.2 ampere first we want to calculate the field at the center of the coil so we have the equation for the field at the center of the current carrying coil that is mu 0 i upon 2 r if it have n number of turns then we have to multiply by n substitute the values n is 100 mu 0 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 current i that is 3.2 2 into r that is 0.1 solve this one you will get the answer then after magnetic moment of the coil magnetic moment that is i into a if n number of turns are there then multiply by n so m equal to n i a a that is the area of the loop so that is pi r square so resultantly the equation for the magnetic moment turns to n i into pi r square n that is 100 i that is 3.2 pi 3.14 r 0.1 square solve it you will get the magnetic moment of the coil clear up to this one now the magnetic field given to you that is 2 tesla so when any current carrying coil is placed in the magnetic field the torque acts on it and that is tau equal to mb sin theta magnitude wise so initially theta that is zero so we can say initially the torque x that is tau equal to mb sin theta that is sin zero so zero finally it is rotated by 90 degree so in final position tau that is mb sin 90 substitute the value f m here which we calculated in the question b then b that is given to you 2 tesla sin 90 that is 1 so finally the torque that is this much now the moment of inertia that is given to you 0.1 kg meter square now torque tau that is mb sin theta see here we have to calculate the angular speed gained by it when it is rotated by 90 now see torque tau that is equal to i alpha i that is moment of inertia and alpha that is angular acceleration mb sin theta alpha angular acceleration that is d omega by dt so i d omega by dt that is mb sin theta now here d omega by dt that we can rewrite as d omega by d theta into d theta by dt but this d theta by dt that is called angular speed and d omega by d theta as it is so now in this equation replace this d omega by dt 
by omega into d omega by d theta. So we can write i into omega into d omega by d theta that is equal to m b sin theta. So take this d theta on right hand side. So i omega d omega that is equal to m b sin theta d theta. Now coil is rotated from 0 degree to 90 degree and its angular speed that suppose becomes from 0 to omega. So now integrate this equation on both the side. So on left hand side the limits of the integration 0 to omega and on right hand side the limits of the integration 0 to 90. Now, I for omega, the integration that is omega square by 2 limits 0 to omega. So, answer will be omega square by 2. On right hand side, MB, integration of sine theta that is minus cos theta. So, here if we substitute first upper limit, so minus cos 90, that is 0. Then minus, minus cos 0, so that is 1. It implies that this bracketed part that will be equal to 1. So finally, we will get omega square that is equal to 2mb upon i. So omega that is equal to under root 2mb upon i. So under root 2m that we calculated in question b, substitute its value, b that is given to you 2 tesla, moment of inertia that is given to you 0 0.1, solve this one, you will get omega this much radian per second. Clear to all of you.